From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Shea will have Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your top stories at this hour. Confessed Parkland school shooter Nicholas Cruz has pleaded guilty to killing 17 people during that 2018 massacre. The judge asked Cruz several questions to assess his mental health and clarified several times he cannot take this guilty plea back, adding it will then be up to a 12 person jury to decide if he'll spend life in prison or receive the death penalty. This will allow the survivors and the victims' families to avoid a lengthy trial. Tampa Mayor Jane Castor is appealing to City Council and the community to support a move that would encourage more sidewalks to be built across the city. Right now, the city says the code requires building sidewalks with most new construction, but there are some exceptions. At a City Council meeting tomorrow, members will look at proposing new code language that would then require developers to either build a sidewalk in front of a new home or pay into the city's sidewalk trust fund. Walk by Tampa says the city has more than 1,300 miles of roads without any sidewalks. Tampa International Airport is putting the finishing touches on the first U.S. Express curbside service. The new Blue Express is dedicated to passengers without checked bags. This way they can skip through ticketing and baggage areas. There are escalators to security and straight to the gate. It's due to open on November 16th, just in time for the busy holiday season. TPA says to follow the signs to the express side. And there will also be an express red arrival area for those arriving without bags. And now here's meteorologist Shay Ryan with Florida's most accurate forecast. Shay. Looking at the future cast, you can see it's more of the same. There are no big surprises headed our way here over the next 24 hours. We're going to see our skies clearing partially overnight. Tomorrow we'll start the day with a good amount of sunshine, fair weather clouds, and we will warm up nicely even a little more than uh, today. So we'll start the day uh, and end the day a few degrees warmer. On Friday, a frontal system approaches that'll bring our rain chances up just a little bit. So we we'll may see a few showers, but a lot of the area will still be dry from start to finish. Saturday, we're still dry. And then on Sunday, that frontal boundary uh, that has sunk to the south of us stalls out and starts to wiggle north and south, bringing a little more of that energy and moisture into our area, giving us chances for rain on Sunday and Monday. And then the temps come down just a little bit as that front sizzle, fizzles out to our south.